basically um, there are massive cuts in funding for bikeability training at the moment which means uh, a whole bunch of kids are not getting their uh, cycle training and a whole bunch of us instructors are essentially uh, not working. The local boroughs on, are only getting about £18,000 worth of funding for this quarter which is just slightly less than half of, of what is normal funding and arguably there should be even more funding than normal funding anyway. I imagine most of us are going to be uh, uh, making claims on universal credit um, unless the situation changes. Um, the reason we're here today is to try and force that change. You get together with your bikes facing this way, we're going to do a little photo. I'm a cycle instructor and I'm the women's rep for the Cycle Instructors Union. A lot of the bikeability lessons in schools have been stopped. That uh, often takes place in year six, so those children don't get a second chance when they move on to secondary school. And it's something they're really looking forward to. I have children in that age, 11 and 12 years old, and bikeability in school is really one of those things they're looking so much forward to. Um, it's vital for those kids to get that training, to be able to know how to behave on a bike in traffic and um, you know once they start secondary school they want to cycle to school so, you know some of them at least and uh, yeah it's just important that they have the training and that they they can do that safely <laughs> really concerned that five London boroughs, Barnet, Enfield, Greenwich, Hackney and Lewisham have completely cut the funding for bike lessons. There'll be no bike lessons at school for children from December until further notice. Um, there's no bike lessons now for adults or families in those boroughs. Reverse the cuts! For the kids! Reverse the cuts! For the workers! Reverse the cuts! I want to read out some of the words of people that I've trained as a cycle instructor. From Tiffany, thanks Alina, the world out there is not so scary anymore. From James, thanks again for such helpful instruction. I really appreciate it how you were able to tailor your teaching to address the issues I mentioned and in particularly that I wanted to tackle. It was great for building confidence to be able to show that I could do things like riding one-handed while signalling. The drills on checking over my shoulder were also really helpful and it was great to be able to progress to riding in busier traffic and to start to get acclimatised to that. I learned a lot in a couple of hours and I feel a lot more confident because of it. We reversed these cuts so we can go back to work and help to keep London cycling for ourselves and for the planet. Thank you. Once again, huge congratulations and solidarity to all of you for turning up today. What a fantastic show of strength from an incredibly atomised workforce. You guys work all over London and you've all come together today to say we're not standing for this. So I think make some noise for that right now. We're going to keep targeting places like this, City Hall. We're going to target local councils and we're going to keep putting pressure on all the places until they make the cycling infrastructure a priority. They take this livelihood, this incredible work that you do seriously, they get the money, they provide for you guys, not only reversing the cuts, 
but giving you the rights that you've been denied for so many years. Giving you the right wages that you've been denied for so many years. And we'll keep coming back. Once we reverse these cuts, we'll keep pushing for rights. And we'll keep making things better for cycling instructors, not just in London, but all over the country. And we're going to do that by coming together, by descending on places like this, and we'll keep on pushing. So well done, everyone.